welcome back. My name's Claire Howard. So today I'm pretty excited. We are now heading to the airport and we are off to Lisbon, Portugal for the weekend. I have packed, I've got everything in my new Amazon bag that I got as carry-on. I am a little bit concerned. We're flying with Wizz Air and I'm feeling like they might be very, very picky on your hand luggage. I did check in online last night and I left it because I thought there's only two of us and I had checked and the plane was half empty. I thought we'll definitely get seats together. Yeah. And when I done the random seat selection at check-in, they gave us two seats at opposite ends of the plane and they also gave them to us in between other people. So there was no option if we wanted to sit together than to pay for both of our seats. We couldn't just move one of us. Um, so I did, I was going to contact them, but I didn't get around to doing that. I did think that was really cheeky. I have never had that before. Whenever I've checked in an airline, if you don't book seats, they will try and seat you together. I would understand if other people had paid for seating and the plane was full, but I feel that is really cheeky. They should just say you've got to pay for your seat or add the cost on. It's just annoying, isn't it? But anyway, we are now heading up to the airport. I've got our passports, got our tickets. I've got everything, I think. Anything we haven't got, we're just gonna have to buy when we're there. As long as we've got money and passports, we're all good. So let's go. We're now off to the airport. <laughs> So we've just parked up in the car park, now going to get our bus. This is very different to the APH car park at Stamstead, where you pull up and just park in a nice row and then someone else parks your car. Not quite as nice. There's no toilet at the bus stop and we're both bursting. We've just arrived at Luton Airport. It's absolutely crazy here. I don't know why it's so busy. I haven't been to this airport since I was about 10. So it's quite exciting, new airport. Mark's excited, aren't you? Oh yeah. We're now gonna go and find the check-in, find our airport lounge and chill. into our gate we're at gate 33 we've just been in the aspire lounge not the best lounge i've ever been in i must say yeah. but it was nice food and stuff but they didn't marry it up so like the main meal was curry with rice and garlic bread but there was never garlic bread and curry at the same time so that was a bit of a pain but we're heading to the gate now no hassles driving here all went pretty well had a nice chill and a couple of glasses of wine and we're looking forward to getting on our flight in Lisbon Airport. Really good flight, got here 20 minutes early, so it is now half past nine. Uh, go <laughs> grab an Uber, which I was really happy to discover that they do here because it's so, so easy. So apparently that's going to cost us about 11 euros back to our hotel. And yeah, go check in and then maybe go for a drink if we're still awake by the time we get there. Here we are. We gave up on Uber, tried to order one and it kept cancelling our driver. So we stood at the airport. I think I tried about three times and it connected us and was connecting and connecting and connecting and couldn't connect us to a driver. So it cancelled and it done that three times. So our Uber would have been 10 euros 50. We got in a pretty quick queue to get a taxi. Um, I guess we're probably about 10 minutes from the airport if that and the taxi was 30 euros. So it was significantly more. However, we couldn't get an Uber, so there wasn't another option really. We've just arrived at our hotel. This is our room. It's fine. I'm a bit out of breath. We tried to get the lift, but the lift wasn't working. So we've just marched up 
four floors into the hotel. It's kind of a, I don't know, I don't want to say it's an old room because it's quite modern looking, but I don't think it's the most modern of hotels, but it looks like we're very central. I'll show you out of the window. I think we're now going to go and try and get a little drink. It is oh, quarter past ten. I'm really, really thirsty, so we do need to go and get some water to have a room at the very least. So yeah, that is us at the hotel. It is so warm. So I was saying to Mark we needed to bring coats and jackets because the forecast has said a lot of rain and wind. So I've been really paranoid and worried about it being cold. But it is so warm outside, so I'm imagining that it's going to have to be quite warm tomorrow daytime to be this warm in the evening. So that should be good. Here is our room. We're at the Avenida Park Hotel. Pretty basic, but okay. I've got a wardrobe in the corner. Is there any coat hangers in there or are they the ones you bought? Yes, coat hangers. I've got some coat hangers. I've got a little dressing table there. Nice full length mirror. Both got bedside cabinet and there's a little luggage cabinet there. And then going into the bathroom again, very basic. But, you know, nice and clean and okay. I've got a hairdryer. I'm annoyed, I'm one of the ones you have to press the button. Good job I'm not planning on washing my hair. Um, there is some cleansing gel, hand wash. And then you have got the shower again with some body wash. Got a little rubber mat if you need it and some towels. They look like teeny tiny towels. I'm not going to wrap myself up in those. But yeah, this is our room. It's nice and it looks like it's quite central, so happy with that. Got TV as well. Little chair. Extra blanket in there by the looks of it. Today is really, really breezy. Uh, we've had a bit of rain, we've had a bit of breeze, but it's actually really warm. Look at the state of me. We've been for a really nice breakfast at Deer Breakfast. That was really nice. Um, tasty. I would advise, I think you could book. We got in just in time because then it became full and they were turning people away at the door. So we were there nice and early, probably about nine o'clock, I reckon. So yeah, we're going to go explore some more, show you what we come across. So we are just having a little wander around and exploring this morning. This is the Arco de Rua Augusta, I believe. If I've said that correctly. It's massive. We were walking under those um, little alcoves there and we nearly missed it. Got the cute trams that go around everywhere. We're going to get a pass and go around on the tram tomorrow. Let's Mark look with his little photography skills. So it's absolutely beautiful here. So much to see. Every corner you turn is just it's just different. There's amazing buildings and architecture, lots of these big statues and monuments.
take a bite. See what they like. Oh, it's a pastel de nata. Cinnamon. <laughs> No, no. Go Are good? Yeah. We've got plenty of rain, plenty of wind. The rain's only just started heavy. It has been just drizzly, but it's a bit heavier now. We are now heading down to, can't really remember the name of the road, but I will put it in text. It's a street that's covered in umbrellas. So we're thinking it's handy in the rain. Plus, we're hoping to find somewhere to sit and have a couple of nice drinks and cocktails because it is about 11.30 and we've already done over nine and a half thousand steps this morning. So we are both, after our travelling and late night, feeling like sitting down and just having a drink and chilling. So that is what we're now going to do. Definitely going to say, if you're coming to Lisbon, bring your comfortable walking shoes because everything is quite, quite it is quite a big centre and you're going to be doing loads of walking. The pavements are all not cobbled but kind of brick lay so it's not all very even so don't come here on your high heels I really wouldn't recommend it. Um, Climbing shoes might be good. It's very hilly, very hilly so be prepared to do lots of walking. shelter so we sheltered from the rain because it is raining on and off we've got some really nice cocktails they are so strong um i think they were eight euros each we've got a free shot and a lollipop it's really cool here really nice and it mark I was so excited about coming here because we went somewhere similar when we went to Florence in Italy. There was a really nice market exactly like this with all your fruit and veg and stuff on the bottom floor and then loads of food places upstairs. So I'm really excited to get up there and take a look. The smell of fish and sardines hits you when you walk in here. It's really, really nice. Let's just take a look around. The future lives in you. The future lives in you. Yeah, the future lives in you. I can't begin to tell you how quite a few of these cafes around and they are well worth a try. I had the sweet white port which was amazing and Mark had a beer. We then got this electric car up to the Castello de Seo San Jorge, I think you say it. This guy was a tour guide, he does do tour guides and show you loads of local points but he just gave us a ride up to the castle. I think we paid around 30 euros and he was a really nice guy and gave us lots of local information as well, which was very helpful.
We just got a funny little car up the hill. Funny little car. Cool little car. It was good, wasn't it? We are at the Castello de San Jorge. Okay. <laughs> Take you inside to have a look. We have just been up to the castle. It was amazing, really nice views. We've just found this really cute little terrace bar and the sun's come out. So we've just ordered some sangria and it's just, it's lovely sitting here in the sun. We're so glad to see the sun, aren't we babe? Oh yes. Yeah. We had rain this morning. It hasn't put a dampener on things. We've still been out. It's still been warm. Been, still got loads of things done. Very, very nice. We've seen so much. What have we, what have we even done? <laughs> uh, we've just been to the castle San Hodge. Well, we went for Hodge. breakfast. That was amazing. We went for breakfast at Deer Breakfast, which was really nice and tasty. Mox was way nicer than mine. We yeah, have. See the trams, but it's that place with the We had yeah, cod, 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 cod cakes with like a cheesy melt in the middle. They were so good. Um, yeah, we've seen a few things, which obviously we will show you in the videos, but now we're just going to chill and have a glass of sangria. Cheers, babe. restaurant for dinner online <laughs> we've 
I've walked up the steepest hills. Now we're on the stairs. Honestly, we got, the hills are like, how many angles did you say? 45%. 45%. Now we're going to have the steps. We, I swear to God, we've had this dinner. Sitting outside in, oh yeah, November, November. down into the metro station to purchase a travel ticket we wanted this mainly because we wanted to go on the santa justa lift today and also because we wanted to go on the trams this also got us on the metro station which came in really handy for transport around lisbon it saves walking around all those hills and we got super used to hopping on and off the tram so i thought this was a great purchase Good morning, so now heading for day two in Lisbon. Just picked up a coffee. There's no coffee facilities in our hotel. It's like the worst thing ever. The first thing I do in the morning, generally before I get out of bed, because Mark is here, brings me a cup of tea, is have my tea. So half an hour walk down the road and only just got a coffee, not a good start. We are now heading to the Elevadora something it's called but I'm going to put that in text on the screen it's just over there in front of us I would show you but it's just disappeared behind a building I'm going to go up there hopefully Mark will be okay because he's not too keen on heights looks pretty high we just went down into the metro station to purchase our ticket which is going to get us on the trams all day today and it also should get us entrance into the Elevadora Elevador whatever it is so yeah we'll let you know how that goes this lift opened in 1902, primarily to be a transportation system for the citizens of Lisbon. It is now a huge tourist attraction. Therefore, queues can get quite long and it's recommended to get there first thing in the morning to avoid long queues. scared of heights bless him but he's nervous holding on look at the gorgeous view you can see the castle up there all round it's a gorgeous sunny day Come down to the seafront it is so different to yesterday the sun is shining and it is absolutely beautiful it is quarter past nine so it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day today we're on the hunt for some breakfast we still haven't had that we just went up in the elevator walked across the bridge took a few pictures beautiful seeing the the town from above and looking at all the rooftops so now we are looking for some breakfast. We want somewhere we can sit outside and enjoy this sunshine. And there's somewhere over there. And I think it's going to be a lovely day walking around today, as opposed to yesterday, where you have all of these marble floors, which look beautiful, but we were literally skating around. So.
We walked to Martim Moniz to get the 28 tram. This is the most popular tram ride around Lisbon and passes many tourist attractions. That queue took about 45 minutes to an hour to go down, but we got on the front of the tram, got straight on and got a window seat. So that was amazing. The trams do get very, very busy during the day and the morning is the best time to get on if you want to get a seat.
made it on the underground. Us, Norwich, no subway, not used to. All the of this the metro, all the the metro. <laughs> Coming into the modern age, we got on the metro. It saved us a half an hour uphill walk back. So we're so chuffed. So There's crying. some sort of protest or something that was going on yesterday is obviously going on again today and all the roads are blocked and the horns are honking. But we made it back. We're going to go back, chill, recharge our batteries and then go out for dinner. We saw an awesome market that we're going to go to this evening to eat. It was all sausages and chicken and really nice looking stuff on barbecues and grills. So that is the plan. One minute is sunny and then we're ducking for shelter. Oh, it's soaked. <laughs> oh, look at us. Let's go. Oh, we are absolutely soaked. <laughs> I'm worn out. So, not only have I worn my calories off, I'm doing my four flights of stairs a day. I'm walking up and down hills. You know what? I up here, now I run up and down the hills. <laughs> Thank God we got the metro. We would have been absolutely soaked when we're walking up my usual route. So I didn't take my umbrella out either because it didn't say rain. It came on so quick and so heavy. Mega rain. <laughs> right, let's go chill and dry out. We're like little metro pros. I wish we'd figured this out sooner. It's so much easier. So we've got our little card, six euros a day. You can get a Lisbon card, which is from 22 euros for 22 a day, or you can get 48 hours or 72 hours. We didn't get a Lisbon card, but we have got this travel card. And we'll probably get another one tomorrow because I think we're going to try and go to Sintra. But it is about two and a half K from our hotel down to where we want to go. So this is saving us a lot of walking. Yeah, my legs are tired also saved us getting absolutely soaked on the way back because it started pouring and we got wet already had we been walking our full way back it would have we would have been soaked but anyway we've got it sussed two stops that way and we're there we walked through this awesome plaza last night on the way back I didn't get to film it because my camera had run out of battery um, but food smelled amazing so we said we'd come back tonight and here we are and it's smelling just as amazing as it did last night so hopefully we can find a seat and get some great food. I've got espresso martini. This looks amazing. Oh, that is so good. Really good.
we've been out for breakfast this morning. It is now 10 past 10. Mm -hmm. Sun's just come out. It's looking a bit cloudy and gray. So we have just hiked right up the biggest hill and hundreds of steps. And we've just come across this gorgeous viewpoint at the top of the village city. And it is gorgeous. We are now, I think, gonna go and have a glass of wine. This is our last day and why not? We decided we're going to get the metro, so we'll see how that goes. We've got our little yellow tickets. We'll get two stops on a blue line, get on a red line. Should take us straight there, so I'll let you know how that goes. am we're just arriving at our hotel we're staying at a hotel for the night before driving home tomorrow because i didn't really turf my parents out in the middle of the night so we've just walked from the airport which is just over there and we're at the holiday inn express that's about it for us because we're both absolutely shattered oh this is our room at the holiday inn express I can't tell you how much we're looking forward to getting in bed, but I just thought I'd show you around quickly. Got our Dove products there, nice shower, hand wash, bathroom area, some tissues, coat hangers to hang your stuff up. That's handy, you don't get that everywhere. I noticed around here we have got a hairdryer, an iron and an ironing board. Then coming through here, we've got our tea and coffee facilities, TV, this looks like a lovely comfy bed. And then we've just got a little 
console table and chair. And that is our room. All nice, clean and tidy. That bed looks so comfy compared to the bed we've had the last few nights. Anyway, that's a cool little feature, the light beside my bed. Let's pick it out. How cool is that? to go and get our bus for the APH car park. Um, you can stand our and just an air parks bus, whatever, we'll see. But the Holiday Inn Express just behind me there, and the airport's just in front. I'd say it's a five to seven minute walk. You're walking quite briskly, but not slow walkers. But yeah, not far at all. It's really, really convenient and I highly recommend it. Had an awesome night's sleep. The bed was so comfy. Just had a nice breakfast, so fully recharged and ready to head home. That's us on our way home from holiday. We had our little stay at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, really, really convenient for Luton Airport. And the car parking was good too. So I would say we left the hotel, walked to, under the tunnel across to the airport. Pretty much got straight on the bus at Stand R. Bus ride 10 to 15 minutes and then we were at the car park. I'd say from leaving the hotel to being in our car less than half an hour. So that was really convenient and really good. I'm glad we did do the overnight stop off because it was a really long day yesterday and then getting in, we got back to the hotel at about 1 a.m. So it was nice to have a sleep, really nice comfy bed and then a breakfast before we got on our way this morning. Nice breakfast. Really nice breakfast. So yeah, we've had our really, really, really great few days in Lisbon, Portugal. Not somewhere I'd ever really looked at before. And if you haven't looked at it before, I would say seriously consider if you're going for a weekend and a city break, it is a fab place to go. Um, really, really awesome food. There is so much food there. I mean, we went to some restaurants that I'd seen recommended on TikTok and others that we just happened to come by and Google while we were there. But everything we ate was absolutely top-notch amazing and everywhere you looked there was just restaurants and bars and you I'd, would... I'd go back just for the crushed donuts the crushed donuts are the best but yeah amazing food you, you, could, you could not possibly run out of places to eat and drink there even if you went back 50 times so if you're a bit foodie like us and your holiday revolves around what you're eating and sitting and having lovely drinks and looking at beautiful scenery in the sunshine then definitely somewhere to consider so yeah, we're just now driving home. We've got about another hour and a half to get back. Okay, we're having a nice drive back. We've got a really lovely sunny day to drive back in. So yeah, that's us. We're, um, yeah, we refreshed and we're absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Never walked so much in my life, but once we figured out actually the trams and the metro, there are easier ways to get around, but we always like to have a walk around and see everything. We've done a similar thing in New York when we walked around for the first two days and killed ourselves. Yeah, we done that in New York. We walked and walked and walked and then we actually discovered that if we got a, a ticket for the sightseeing bus, yeah, just that was up. much easier. So yeah, the metro is really good and I will include some of that in the vlog about the metro and the different passes and tickets you can get. We didn't, but if I went in future, I probably would get a Lisbon card, I think it's called, because we ended up buying our tickets every day and I think that would have worked out more beneficial because it had entrance to a lot of attractions as well. So I will add links and details to that because that is something that I would probably consider if I was going again. But yeah, that's us. We're gonna make our way home. To have a rest. To have a rest. <laughs> Um, hopefully bring more videos like this in the future because we plan on some more city breaks real soon fingers crossed so don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more like this coming soon <laughs>